hanging on the edge. These fine wine grapes are pushing new boundaries north. Syrah, Merlot, Sangiovese, Cabernet Sauvignon, heat-loving grape varietals that are typically grown in the famous regions of Southern California, Italy, and France. But they are now taking root here, near 50 degrees latitude in Canada's Okanagan Valley region. For varieties like Syrah, uh, Petit Verdot, and these, these late maturing varieties, I, I don't know of anywhere further north latitude-wise uh, uh, that they're growing grapes anywhere in the world. Warming trends brought on by climate change have allowed winemakers to craft new clarets they could once only dream about. It's definitely getting warmer here. If you look at average temperatures and in terms of minimum winter temperatures that are so critical here for vine survival, we're seen, seeing a trending upward. Growers have replaced the quick maturing grapes that were bred to resist cold but produced weak wines with higher end varieties. In need of careful management, they've also pulled in scientific expertise. Researchers analyze photosynthesis, take canopy temperature, measure water uptake, and even gauge plant stress hormones, a detailed picture of the terroir that's helping farmers adapt the vines for the best fruit. Those vintages have transformed the Okanagan Valley. The industry has more than doubled in the last 10 years, winning some worldwide acclaim. Yeah, I can see how our wines being more vibrant um, zippy, zingy, and, and full of life. I think that they really stand out to a wine judge. And I think that's what the reaction has been every time we taste nor northern grown grapes. It's not just the climate that's warming up. Investment interest in the region is also spiking. But acreage is scarce. With roughly 8,000 acres planted, what little land is left isn't going cheap. On the buzz, speculators have started buying up pastures further north up the valley envisioning vineyards just as soon as things heat up.